Michigan with a really good win over what I think is an elite Ohio State team. In this video, we're going to look at their offensive game plan against the Buckeyes and how they were able to sustain offensive success against one of the better defenses in the country. We're going to dive right in. This is a look here at the very first touchdown for Michigan. Unbelievable view here directly over the top. And all Michigan does right here, they're in an eye with extra linemen and a couple tight ends right here. All anybody does is just block their inside gap. So all these guys are just stepping inside. They're trying to move somebody. So basically the same thing as quarterback sneak with the fullback leading right here. Quarterback reverses out to get off midline so he can get to the back. These ends are the only guys that can make this play. And right here, they were able to get there fast enough. Obviously, the chance for McCarthy to keep this ball could be an issue, and that's why they're a little bit hesitant to get in there. If you're looking at the line, all anybody's doing is we're just wedging down. They got inside right there with 53. That's the tight end. And there's your alley right there. Fullback's leading in there as well. Find your space. This time, he even has to go up and over. You got some guys filtering in from the outside. Not able to get there in time. Big bodies, wedge blocking inside. Give him to your running back, let him find a way to get in the end zone. That's what happens right here. Next look right here is just a wide cross. You're getting an out, you're getting a post here. A lot of times that'd be an FOR to outside release that. Ohio State's defense, they're in a 4 4. They had rolled their safety down right here, so it's going to be a one high look. Michigan's in a 10 personnel look. This guy right here is a tight end, but that's not a big deal. It's 10 personnel set as far as the formation. He's working across, you're getting a post out here. This guy right here, he's running outside release basic here. So the quarterback. He's going to fake a cross here. We're going to pull a guard, trying to get these linebackers to step in. You're going to look here, one, two, three, four to the back side. If that back could get out, he'd be a check down there as well. So pulling, getting a blitz here. Great job as far as their protection there, but take a man for a man. As you're looking at what the quarterback sees, his eyes go here. He sees he stays wide, gets to this side really quickly, and those linebackers step down on that play fake. So with that back coming across, see how quickly this linebacker here to the wide side of the field right there steps in, trying to fill the gaps thing in his power. And now there's a huge window, and McCarthy takes advantage of it. Good catch by Titan, a little bit high. He's vertical, he's one on with safety. Explosive play right there on that wide cross, a little bit of play action. If you've gotten to this point of the video, you probably got a little value out of it, so please like and subscribe. Think about getting some merchandise from OffLibDesigns.com, really helps the channel. But we'll keep going, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Here's a look here of a spacing concept, getting him to go wide here with some motion. He goes flat, he's running a stick. He runs in right there, he's gonna outside release here. Running back's check swing, he's checking his protection. So he's probably got a double read right here on this one. The line may be going four down to there and may have a double read right here. So he's able to read it pretty quickly. He pops his feet, now he's getting wide. Quarterback's starting his eyes here. He's looking one to that flat route. McCarthy catches it, he sees corner plays off there playing quarters right here. Rip to your guy, you got a free completion right here on the first and 10. Gets it to his guy, that's a lot of space right there. See if we can make a miss. It's five, all the way up to the first down marker, really close. So really easy play right here, just flipping into the flats, corner staying off. We'll look at the progression, if the flat wouldn't have been there, maybe he's running to it, you got two right here with that hitch, and you got another guy right here with that linebacker, push that direction, you got that spot right here, and you got another snag, there's your flat route. So there's your progression, It'd be one, two, three, four, five, all the way across the field right here. Able to take the number one option there from McCarthy, get a good play. Here's formation here, you're seeing, you got two tight ends tight. You've got these receivers in tight. Everybody's getting wedge blocking here. Just like a quarterback sneak, but now they're handing the ball off. Downhill right there with Quorum. A little bit of movement there up front, knowing this is a short yard situation. He ends up going up and over that big pile. Finds a way to get a first down right here. And this formation comes into play later in the game. We'll see a different clip where they have something off of it. But right here, everybody blocking down, trying to keep their base, trying to move the pile. Quorum, great job just finding a way to get a first down there on short yardage. Here's the next time Michigan gets in this set again. You got receivers, tight ends right here, tight. Running back right here on a different side, on quarterback's throwing side, which could have a little bit of a tail right here on this. And all they're doing is they're trying to get a rub here. Tight end right there to the flats because they know it's man-to-man -man, how tight they are. Hard play fake there with Quorum. Tight end to the flats, getting a bit of a rub. If you're watching right here, this outside receiver, a little bit of contact here with that corner. He's trying to release. It's right there, obviously not OPI. Either way, he's right at the line of scrimmage, so right there, flips it to him. Accurate ball, because this coverage is not the worst thing in the world. you got to put this thing right on his chest and lead him, because this guy's just a step behind. Good accurate ball right there. I know it's not a long throw, but just the accuracy is really key to this play. He's able to get four or five right there. And, of course, this is on a fourth and one. You can see how these guys think it's that dive again. Quick throw, great accuracy right there, and a close situation for J.J. McCarthy. This is a play here on a third and 10 where I think McCarthy gets a little bit lucky on this. And of course, you're right at the edge of field goal range if you take a sack or anything like that. But he's getting this ball out and he's feeling pressure. So right here, his eyes start here. It looks like there's a fade. If he likes his fade ball, he could take it. If he doesn't like it because he's on top, he'd have to throw that thing back shoulder. But so he gets off it pretty quick. You've got a crosser here from the number two receiver. And then you've got basically a safety hanging out right here low, eyes on the quarterback. He just throws it literally at that guy. So right here, gets really lucky. He 
if this guy keeps eyes on the quarterback, he's probably just going to hit him right in the face with the football. But right here, as he's about to throw it, he gets his eyes off the quarterback, and now he doesn't see the football. And that football just goes right over his shoulder. Great catch right there in a tight window. A little bit lucky there for Michigan that this wasn't picked off. Sometimes you take those shots, stuff that happens right. Made a play right there for a big touchdown. This look right here, Michigan has their backup quarterback in. Unbalanced said they have a tight end. A couple receivers over here and they go fly motion here in front. And they fake the jet sweep and they run quarterback GT back this direction. And Ohio State does a pretty decent job of playing it the way that most people would. Going across, faking down. Trying to get those guys to widen out. So down block here to backside linebacker. Block down, block back, pull the kick. And right here on this one, Ohio State does a great job of squeezing this. Almost trying to wrong shoulder and then trying to knock this second puller off. The puller does a pretty good job. Getting some depth, getting around. Now there's the linebacker. A lot of space has been vacated with that motion. You had this corner man to man. He runs across right there. Now there's really no C-gap fitter. If he squeezes it, he wraps around. Nobody left there for the quarterback. Great patience. The linebacker sets the edge. He keeps his outside leverage to try to push it back inside. Getting vertical there for the Q. Great run, great read on that GT. And then just really good athletic ability. Getting vertical to that safety and getting an explosive play there with the back of quarterback run that quarterback GT faking the jet sweep. Here's a look right here of Michigan taking advantage of this 4-3, cover-4 look. Motion a guy in, and he's basically working a slant right there. Working a vertical, he's working a slant here. Quarterback, all he's really doing is he's reading this linebacker. He's got to open one way or the other, and he's going to work the window away from the linebacker where he works. So catch, there's a little bit of motion there to get him in. Quarterback kind of glancing at that guy, and he works that way just a little bit. See just that little hop, he knows he opens up this space for this slant here. And this is on a second and five. So just trying to keep the sticks moving. Vertical stick, he's going to the slant. The one thing I would say on this one, uh, McCarthy's feet are a little bit off as far as what he's doing. Should probably be a little bit more patient. You see how he tries to speed his feet up right here. One, two, three, just real quick. And he throws it a little bit inaccurate. Because that thing's somewhat low and in front. If his feet are set earlier, he should be able to get this thing out and put this thing on his face mask. So now when he catches it, he'd have a good chance to split those guys and get some extra yards. But good catch right there. Call these fundamentals off just a little bit, but you can see that Mike pushing. So we're going to go back side over here to the short side of the field. Gives him a catchable ball. Great play there by the, I believe, tight end. Getting a first down right there on second and five. We really like this call from Michigan. Getting a guy working across. They're going verticals out here. You got a post, and you're getting the running back to at least right here. And Ohio State, they're just playing zone right here. Looks like cover four, and this tight end delays this. So right here, he's getting a little bit of a chip. All it is is a five man pro here from Michigan chip now he's releasing late and you can see these linebackers drop they get their eyes off the backfield because there's really nobody left other than this tight end and they think that he's staying in the blocks right there chips now he releases mccarthy he checks the thing down he's looking one two knowing that that check's going to get there if these linebackers drop so right there easy catch there at the line good throwing catch and now you're in space with a big body linebackers having to make a play with way too much space no chance right there for him just that delay you can see how those guys turn their back there linebacker and are dropping Great call there from Michigan. Great design. This is obviously a big play right here with just straight inside zone here from Michigan. Really good execution up front, getting a body for a body. So right there, you're going to basically tight end, double there to there. You're going to double here, this A-gap player to the front side linebacker. They base here. So 44, just like his own base for ISO, he's blocking right here on 36. Great patience here by the back. The other thing where there's great patience is 44. He slides a little bit, and then he's reading this linebacker for what gap. He thinks he's going through that gap is what he's thinking, but this linebacker slides right there into that big gap. So now he filters over the top. So great patience there by 44. Again, body for a body. This is not ideal right here. You'd rather cover this guy up and try to work here. But right here, he gets in that gap and it opens up a running lane up to the safety. And that's all you're asking for. And right here, if you're looking at it, Ohio State, obviously they're saying, we'd love for six to make a play, but that is too much room to ask a guy to make a play on one of the better backs in the nation. You gotta squeeze this a lot more, hold your gaps, don't get moved out of it right here. And that's what they're talking about right there, probably defensively. Too much space for six. Obviously, you should be able to make this play, but too much space to make it, and two makes him miss. Huge play right there. Sticking with the running game, finding a way there late in the game to create big plays off that inside zone, making safety miss. Great call here on this one. Again, hey, up seven in the fourth quarter, start of the fourth quarter. They're going toss pass here with a running back. So flipping it out there, making it like truck, you're pulling a tackle, you're down blocking. This guy's releasing to the corner, and these guys thinking that they're going to have to find a way to get a good stop. These guys are flying down, so this is a great call. Runback does a good job faking. He has this thing tucked, and he pulls it out of his pocket. 
good easy flip. Obviously, we'd love to put this thing out there a little bit more so we could be a touchdown, but hand over his hips and slow down. Maybe cost him a touchdown right there. But the real thing is, you want to make sure you get that big play. That's what I do here. And this look, you can see just how quickly they fire down. So, again, that truck look, make it look like they're pinning. Tackle's pulling right here. Pretty good job here by Edwards tucking it away. And then, pretty accurate ball. It looks like an athlete right here. Looks like he may play some baseball, maybe play some quarterback in his past. It's right there on the move of his back foot. Good throw and catch, huge play there for Michigan being aggressive with that toss pass. This is a really good run, really good patience here by the back on this one. Just running duo, side to the left, going downhill. Everybody there blocking inside zone, basically to the right. As you're looking at, there's a body for a body. They pin right here. Outside receiver folds inside of the bunch right there to take the safety. All these gaps are filled. Great patience here by Quorum. He sees that this end has collapsed. So now everybody's coming to balance and you're seeing everybody is square. Now it's just a race. Great, let's go ahead and bounce this thing into this open space. Now it's a race with guys that were flat footed and Quorum ends up winning this. Great job, he gets to the outside knowing the situation. On a second and 17, we wanna get this first down, but we also wanna get down. Puts his foot in the ground, goes vertical into 10. Make sure you get the first down, stay in bounds, don't let him push you out of bounds. Even though the clock will probably still end up running based off of the clock rules right there with two minutes left. But great job just being aware of the situation, getting those extra three or four yards, staying in bounds, getting that first down. It's a great look of duo. Anytime they fill those inside gaps, boom, everybody comes to balance, bounce that thing, plus momentum, and Quorum just finds a way to get a huge play here for Michigan. If you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. It's going to be fun to see Michigan next week against a, a really good Iowa defense in the Big Ten Championship game and what happens moving forward with the playoff and how their matchups look in the next couple weeks.